Greetings out of Days and Guardians, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Around Oven Break. This time, we're just gonna go ahead and sit back, chillax, and finally crack open some of these special event popcorn boxes. Now, if you don't know, this is what this entire new update is basically based around. It's just getting these popcorn boxes because, does anyone remember the uh, loot boxes that you get from, uh, it was either the Season 8 update or the special 7th anniversary update? I'm pretty sure it's like that, however, this is different because a Apparently, you open 50 at a time. I have no idea how this works. All I know is apparently, I think you can get a good amount of loot from this. So if I check the rewards, if I could just go ahead and gander. Yeah, so there's a chance at like multiple Star Wars. So like basic stars, just common cookie costumes, rare jelly shapes, treasure incantations, crystals, gold gems, rainbow cubes, coins, magic powder, blessing tickets, rescue tickets, replay, uh, breakout replay tickets, bronze sugar crystals, magic candy ingredients of the epic cookies, skill gems, and the great blueprints. And that's just for one star. Uh, two star is a lot of rare stuff, including epic, epic jelly shapes, more valuable loot and all that stuff, treasure stones, silver sugar crystals, and more things. Three star, this is where the epic cookies that you can get comes in. Pets, treasures, a lot more of the quantity of all the loots and stuff, 10 plus 1 treasure incantation tickets, more wide variety of stuff, gold sugar crystals. Four stars where it gets really interesting because you have a chance to get super epic costumes, legendary jelly shapes, a lot bigger loot of everything else, including cookie unlock tickets, pet unlock tickets, break it, uh, breakout replay tickets uh, for the random challenge, or I'm sorry, breakout random challenge tickets, uh, a lot more big loot, even diamond sugar crystals, which I thought they were called rainbow sugar crystals. Apparently, I was mistaken on that the whole time. They are not rainbow sugar crystals. They are diamond sugar crystals. I guess it makes sense, bronze, sugar, uh, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, but still. And magic candy ingredients for legendary cookies. Five star is you can get legendary cookies, pets, treasures, uh, even the potions are legendary. The loot is bigger and a lot more bigger loot. That's all I can say. Six star, boy, it's just these, but better. Like a chance for three legendary treasures, five legendary pets and cookies, uh, legendary costumes, uh, more of those potions, and a bunch of loot. So... With that being said, if we do have extra time, I want to see if I can pull some stuff with the costume gotcha. But for now, let's open 50. Let's just crack down some of these because I have a lot of these to open. So, crack it open. Alright, so it's back to this. I guess the reason why they decide, oh yeah, I you need a lot of those tickets just to try and get uh, some of the good loot that appears in that, uh, you know, movie ticket shop. Because apparently, one of the main things that you can get here is a, like, a five-star legendary pet potion. <coughs> My voice. Oh, mm. I was there, I had to get some water in me. I didn't know we were just gonna instantly start off like that. Okay, well that's a good start. I probably would have rather had like, uh, just like, well I guess, honestly it's good that I can choose what I can get. 500,000 coins. Oh, uh, I honestly really hope that they boosted the odds of getting some really good loot because trying to pull something legendary is very good. I mean, that was literally like pull three and we got a, fi a five star already. I'm so shocked. Oh hey, a costume. We already have that costume, so we're just gonna get the, uh, rainbow crystal for it which i just probably start spending those rainbow crystals i'm pretty sure i'm the only oven break player to nearly have a thousand rainbow crystals and not sp and barely spend any of them i think the last time that i spent one was like on a costume obviously but like i forgot what costume it was but honestly this is good that i'm doing this because i really want like a lot of crystals just because i do need to do a good amount of cookie upgrading uh four star that's a is that a is that a i think there was a free pet ticket Okay, so when the new pet comes out for, uh, I'm pretty sure it should be Butter Squid Cookie. Apparently when they come out, I can just get that pet for free. I don't even need to spend the crystals, which usually it's like, well, around a thousand. That's fine. I'll take that. That's really good. Saves me the efforts of having to spend more crystals. But, uh, yeah, basically the main reason why you want to use these isn't just the fact that you'll be getting a bunch of free loot, but also it's the fact, oh my gosh, hey, free unicorn. Oh, that was just draw number one? It seemed like we flew by that so fast. I'm, I'm just saying that first pull, are you kidding me? Like, even though it seemed like we didn't get much, we got some costumes that were like repeats. But at the top, I'm just saying with all those three stars, a bunch of magic powder, uh, some cookie and pet potions. But that free cook, that free pet ticket and also the legendary pet potion. Man, this this draw so far really wanted to like have give me a good way with like using pets. But we did get some uh, 30, well, I got some special season bonus coupons, which if you're wondering, you can use them for, uh, is it this area? Uh, it's somewhere over here. I think it's down here. Where the plug is it? Oh, it might be area, yeah, right here. It, it's the one with that, which has the icon on it. So uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can get here. Like, personally, I feel like if I wanted to try and get anything, I think I would try and get the lobby. I don't know if I have that lobby yet. But you can, of course, always, like, restock it and buy other things here. I don't think I'm really going to go after the jelly shapes because I can just pull for those any times. And, of course, there's just a package coupon right here where, like, hey, if you want to spend money, there it is. 
I, I guess it is. It has its value in a way, but is it really worth it? I don't know. I think I'd just rather, like, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up five of these, so I would be opening up 250 of them in total, because I don't, like, like it's not that I don't want to open up all this loot, but I'm just saying, like, these are flying by fast. And the thing is, it's kind of like, oh, we're starting off with a costume. Uh, but the thing is, like, I also want to make sure that, like, I spend a little bit more time doing some other things, like getting some loot that I haven't claimed yet. Then again, I'm not going to complain about getting any treasures at all. What am I saying? Though, also, another thing that I got to admit is one of the reasons why it doesn't last as long as, like, you know, the seventh anniversary is because those have the chance of, like, getting costumes. And I think the animations for those were a little bit longer because you had to, like, walk through a park just to get uh, something good. Hello there, Cheater to Cookie. Uh, hello there, Cherry Cookie. I'm just getting a lot of cookies that we already have, which just gets converted into coins, so who cares? If I got some three stars, four stars, or five stars, that'd be pretty good. But so far, we're just going on an endless streak of one. There we go, three star but magic powder. Honestly, I don't mind the magic powder, but I don't really need much more. Like, I already have over, like, 300,000, like, and I thought I lost a lot, but considering the, the uh, surprise bears, you get a lot. Oh, hey, keyboard. Uh, I think that's the pet for uh, Mint Shaco. But, uh, but anyway, uh, I'm just saying, I just have a lot, and like, oh, a thousand gems, nice. Uh, but I just got a lot of magic powder to use. <laughs> That's a funny bear jelly. And I, it's like, I used, I think I used up a lot of it at some point, but then I just instantly got it all back. So there's that. But I guess it is good if I ever need to, like, get a bunch of, uh, silver sugar crystals, because I think those are the most, like, viable sugar crystals I need. I obviously know. Diamond sugar crystals, aka rainbow sugar crystals is what I call them. They're good to have, but I think the ones that you're going to be using the most is actually the silver sugar crystals because epic cookies, I mean, you will be using the bronze to upgrade like, you know, the epic cookies, uh, you know, magic, pow uh, magic powder, <laughs> magic candies to level one and two. But also what's more important is you need that level three, four, and five to max them out. And uh, I'm going to be honest, that really didn't last too long. I got to be honest with you. I, I, I honestly, I, I guess I was expecting them to last longer, but I think that's just because, like, I'm not sure if we usually do, like, I think the boxes usually just pull in, like, pulls of 20 or 10 whenever these events happen, but even though they're being pulls in, like, 50, I guess maybe why that's also why it's going so fast, because since they're in just a big batch, it's like we don't need to wait in between for, like, animations and stuff, and honestly, not the best. We just got a good amount of magic powder, and our peak was just a bunch of three stars, which, honestly, the thing I was most excited for was the actual uh, gems, honestly, like, a thousand gems. That's pretty good. Even the magic powder, I'm just like, eh, I got a lot of those. Uh, but I guess we'll crack open three more. And then what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to take a visit to, like, the costume gotcha. See if I can pull anything good there. Ah, spooky ghost. It's not even Halloween yet. And, uh, yeah. There's, like, a few more videos I want to record for today. Ooh, rainbow sugar crystal. I'm oh, sorry, diamond sugar crystal. I got that wrong the whole time. Uh, but another three star. 10 plus one treasure incantation ticket. That's actually really good. Because, you know, free treasures. I like my upgrades. Uh, okay, so far this draw is going pretty good. Uh, there's, I want to record this, and I think I want to record, I know it sounds crazy for me to say, but like three more oven break videos. Because uh, if you're wondering, I'm like doing a whole recording day. I'm just getting a bunch of videos done just so I can basically be set. And I basically don't have to do a single thing for like the next week. Which is kind of a struggle because uh, I got to do this for both Oven Break and Kingdom. So who knows what I'm going to do in Kingdom. Uh, but whatever. Basically, uh, I've said this in a, either a video I haven't released yet or a video I already published. But I'll just say it again just in case. I basically have the whole house to myself. So I'm just doing all the all the everything that I can just to work. And you know what? Honestly, it feels exhausting but satisfying when i get a plumbing day done where i get like so many videos done which i don't think i'll ever go over to give it over the fact that uh i think one of the biggest days i ever had to record was like before i actually played cookie run this is back when i had a lot more variety on my channel it was uh what was it i was playing my first episode of terraria and i love the early game in terraria so much i think i record what was it i think it was like seven terraria videos that day that would have probably been like over four hours worth of content probably but like I recorded episodes 1, 2, 3, and 4 on, like, the day, then I took a nap, and then maybe recorded some other stuff in the meantime, but then I woke back up and recorded three more episodes. So, uh, yeah. I think I remember, fun fact, one of my least viewed videos on my channel is, uh, if you're excluding, like, unlisted stuff, is, like, episode 4 or something of, like, Terraria, where it's just called, like, Zombie Soup, and it's just, like, the thumbnail is just a bunch of zombies in, like, this river, and I probably could have named it a something a lot more eye-catching. But then again, this was back when I barely didn't have much of a fan base in comparison to now. And even though so, people are a lot more interested in Terraria. Because, let's be honest, fun fact. If you want to watch my Terraria series, that's a hundred episodes. It's literally a hundred episodes of Terraria. Which, I know there's people who've done, like, way more than a hundred episodes. But for the amount of content that I did as a single-player Let's Play, that's one of my most proud series. Not for the fact that, uh, by the way, Shine Moose got looks pretty right there. Not for the fact that it was just like, oh, well, uh, I wanted to provide all the content. And like, it, it was like, 
The reason why is because I just love Terraria, and that's one of my most proud Let's Plays. And of course, this was before, like, more updates came out. And, uh, yeah, let's do another one. We can do two more and, uh, see what we get right after. And, of course, after I finish all my videos, I'm going to have a nice break for lunch. Uh, probably going to heat up some, like, lasagna because I have some prepackaged. Hello there, uh, yoga. The, when it says you get one of the cookie, does that... I think I said this before. When I get one of the cookie, does that mean I just get one for its level? Or do I get, like, a guaranteed level up? Because that would actually be pretty cool if it was a level up, I'm going to be honest. Just to easy, just to easily max out the cookies. But considering that these are the cookies that we're talking about, this is Cookie Run. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot harder than just that. So it's probably going to be like, oh, you only get like one out of like 30 levels that you need. But hey, we got 30 pet potions. Uh, of course, it's going to give me a lot more like pet potions. Like I got the legendary pet thing. I got the pet ticket. I now get 30 pet potions. It's just giving me a lot of pets. You know, maybe next time that I do this, I can focus a lot more on the cookie side because... For both, I'm not complaining, because I'm still getting free loot out here. And I hope you kind of enjoy these loot videos, because, hey, I'm pretty sure a lot of people like uh, loot box unboxing videos. So it's kind of nice to show this off, but... Now, you know, when I record a lot of videos, my struggle isn't what do I record, because I basically record everything at that point for what's being presented in the new update. But my new issue comes as being, what do I upload first? <laughs> of course, usually I have the format of, like, you know, one of the videos, then, uh, you know, the story video. So, like... Like, uh, Ready Cookie Action, Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, Hard Mode Part 1, Hard Mode Part 2, which Hard Mode, that's gonna take me a little bit of time to do because I need to do a lot more running for that. So, I wanna get everything else before I probably, like, try and tackle the Hard Mode off camera for a while. Because trying to do all those missions is gonna take me a little bit. But, whatever, as long as I'm just getting all, the, all these other videos done, because so far I got one of the event videos done, that's not the season events, it's just in regards to everything else. Uh, you know, the few events that got released, you know, cookie mastery or like treasure meet the treasure stuff like that there's still a few videos i gotta go ahead and make my for myself but whatever one more box and then we'll move on to a few costumes maybe we can get something there in fact what would be really cool is maybe we got some rainy cubes so you could help fund this costume raising video uh speaking of funding kofi you know one dollar a month uh I'm not sure if I should rant about that, but uh, I like Kofi. I love the fact that I can release, like, exclusive content in there. But I haven't been really strong with my extra content game. But that's just because, like, when you really don't have an audience there... I think I did state this before. But when you don't have an audience there, the motivation for, like, getting content out like that is kind of, you know, bad. Like, in comparison to, like, YouTube and stuff. Like, obviously, I want to push out as much content as I can because my audience loves it. But with Kofi, since I only have, like, one, maybe two followers on there, it's kind of hard. But, like... I'll still push whatever I can, but oh, look at that. 10 plus 1 treasure incantation ticket. I'll take another one of those. Uh, give me more loot like that, and we'll be all fine. 3 stars, 4 stars, I'll take 5 stars and 6 stars. Hello there, Ginger Claws. I'll take whatever loot you give me, just don't give me stuff that I really don't need. Like, what am I going to do with that block pet? Am I going to use it as, like, a Minecraft cube? I don't know. But, honestly, something I cannot wait for is Witch's Castle to come out. I just can't wait, because it's going to be a new breath of fresh air. And I know it seems simple. People are just calling it the Cookie Run version of, uh... Oh, Chocolate Bonbon Cookie Pet. People are just calling it the Cookie Run version of, uh, Candy Crush. And I'm just like, you know... I guess you could say that. I'm pretty sure the it's different from how the Candy Crush mechanics work. Because I don't think it's matching. I think it's just about, like, tapping blocks to make sure they work. I don't know. I don't remember much of the gameplay of that. Even though I definitely should research that more. But, uh... Whatever the case is... I'm just hyped for it. It's a new game. It's going to be a breath of fresh air. It's probably going to be like Puzzle World 2.0. And uh, hey, speaking of which, if you're uh, using Pick Your Own Comic Studio, we, op we opened up a new Puzzle World version. Uh, so like by that, there's a new Puzzle World tab, which soon is going to migrate over to a side games tab once we get probably like Witch's Castle assets and maybe uh, Tower of Adventures assets and stuff like that. But that'll be for that. This is for now. And we do have 33 left, but I'm going to start saving up more boxes and we're going to be like using those in another video. Uh, but now, just as a little bit of a bonus, I'm gonna go over to the gacha and probably, like, pull, like, maybe twice for costumes. How many rooms are that? Yeah, 7,000. Uh, so probably either go for this one, or, uh, I'll probably even go for sure. I, I don't know, there's a lot of costumes I can get. I could probably go for, like, sheesh, there's a lot of, look, look at this whole list of costumes. You got these ones, which I'm pretty sure I have all of. You have these ones, which are, uh, it's, uh, the Lun Lunar New Year, which you can also get the Tangerine Tankulu one. Uh, the Valentine's costume for Blue Lily, uh, the Egg Sauna costume, the Valentine's costume for Sugar Swan, uh, the two new costumes for uh, Habanero and Blue Slushy, and the new Super Epic costume for uh, Egg... Uh, not Egg Sauna, a Plumbing Chaka Bar. So, I think first I want to try and go for the costume for Egg Sauna, because hey, you never know if it works, that's great. You have Ginger Bright, Ginger Brave, and uh, no Strawberry, but maybe Strawberry could appear on the side. Str strawberry does not appear on the side, this is actually kind of sad, because I think this just means it's uh, rare. I think, at least, because, I mean, it's not totally useless. I'll do a skip, though. Yeah, it's just rares. 
If this was on the habanero and blue slushy thing, this would be really good. But it's just Mysterious Virtuoso. Man, this is not good for me in the slightest. That's just bad. I, I probably should purchase one because, like, or maybe I should try and save up for a thousand just so I can be the first kicker on YouTube or just try and get over a thousand, even though I'm probably not, but I think it'd be funny. Mmm, better. I guess I can go for this one. I think it wouldn't hurt. One time here. But then after that, I should probably do it. But we have Gingerbrite, we have Gingerbrave, and we have Strawberry. All in the same line. There's fire under the feet. This is good. This is a good one. There's lightning over the eyes. There's the whole cheerleader squad. His eyes closed for a bit. And we're going to launch him up straight into the air. Come on. This is it. This is the one. This is the luck that we need. This is our lucky break. Come on. Mind confirmer starters, of course. Friendly ghost. Come on. Here we go. 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 It's... Do I have that? We got s'more cookies. Honey star... I... Definitely don't think I have that costume. Which, to be fair, that looks really cute. I'm not going to complain about that. That looks beautiful. Yeah, that's a new Honey Star Camper. Look how cozy you look. Honestly, you just look like a bundle, a bundle of bumble, bundled up bundle of fresh joy. You know, I'll take that. You know, Pumpkin and Ryan class president. It's not the chocolate bar cookie costume. But that is a new costume that I can't complain about because that looks nice and cozy. Ironically enough, I was mentioning the seventh anniversary update where all that was being mentioned, so maybe it was kind of like a breath of like a, a thing of fate. I don't know, but with that being said, we're just gonna go ahead and end the video right here. Probably gonna I was gonna spend some more cost like things on costumes and stuff, but apparently uh whatever. I honestly I thought you couldn't purchase a rare cost. I think I'm thinking of Kingdom. Yeah, I'm thinking of Kingdom. I think you couldn't purchase the rare costumes. Here you can, I guess. But okay, with that being said. I guess I'll end the video right here. If you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick around content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get a kick around YouTube set for absolutely free, a link to my Discord server called the Hype Knees Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and last but certainly not least, a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next video, heal the hype knees.